Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to use concurrent features thread pool executor for multi-threading in python. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to use threading module for parallel execution of a ping test function and concurrent features is the newer method. This helps to switch to multiple processors instead of threads and this is efficient than the threading module and here we have a method called submit and submit will run each function at a time and returns future object using future object we can check the status of the task so we'll write a script for concurrent futures so first we'll import concurrent dot future and we'll call this cf and then here we'll use a context manager with cf dot thread pool executor and we need to give parenthesis here then we'll call this executor and inside that we'll create a variable c1 equal to executor dot we'll use submit method if you see the documentation here so this will submit a callable to be executed with the given argument and here we need to give the function name we'll give ping test and first we will pass only one dictionary and these are keyword arguments so we need to give two star here then host and we'll pass zeroth element and here we will try printing c1 and we'll print type of c1 because this will be returning a future object and using future object we can check the status of the particular task print dir of c1 we'll try running this so you can see here this is concurrent dot futures object and this is having multiple methods and if you want to see whether the task is completed or not we can use c1 dot running method and let us try running so it is saying true because when the execution reaches at this stage still the ping is running if we try adding some delay here i'll give three seconds delay i'll copy this line and paste it here so by this time it will be completed so we'll get a false so here we are getting false because we have added additional three seconds delay and here our function is printing the data because of that we don't need any result and if you see the method supported in the future object we can even get the result and we get cancel and all these kind of methods are supported now we have executed this on only one device now we'll see how to run this using a for loop i'll comment this and here i'll 
same like our threading module i'll create a list called total output equal to an empty list and then same line i'll paste it here we'll put a for loop here for host in host and output equal to executor dot submit same method then we'll give the ping test comma we need to give two star and individual host we need to pass so let us try running the script so you can see here this also has started the entire execution parallelly and there is a microsecond difference between each task and it took around four seconds to complete and here we have an option to print the result and here instead of print if I am returning the output I will change this to return I will take a copy of this I will comment previous print and change this to return this also I will change to return now this will print only this print statement in the terminal so rest everything will be happening in the backend because we are not printing the result so now to print the result what we need to do is we need to append this into total output so let us do that total output dot append and this output will append to the total output and same like the threading for f in concurrent futures dot as completed and we can give this total output then each task will be coming here each result will be coming here so we can just do print f dot result so let us try running this so now you can see it is even printing the result and some devices are reachable and now we'll see how to use list comprehension with thread pool executor in simple words comprehension will help to reduce total number of lines needed to write a for loop for creating a list or dictionaries so here we were creating a list you can see here we were initializing a list empty list then doing a for loop and appending all the value to total output if you use comprehension we can achieve all this using single line of code so I'll remove all these lines I'll take a copy of this comment it paste it here I can remove this all this code I'll remove and instead of output I'll call this total output and here I'm going to create a list later we have a dedicated video on comprehension now we are just seeing how to use this with thread pool executor 
so here we can put the for loop for host in host and now the entire list will come here inside total output and then we are doing a for loop so let us try running this script so here uh, you can see now this is getting executed with comprehension and with very minimal lines of code we are able to enable multi-threading if you have function and arguments with very minimal lines of code we are able to do multi-threading you can see here we just need to give the function name here and the argument now we have seen how to do multi-threading with very minimal lines of code if you have a function and keyword arguments to pass with four to five lines of code we are able to do multi-threading in the upcoming tutorials we'll see how to do multi-threading in cisco configuration task we'll try to do multi-threading with this particular task using threading and concurrent features